The Pacers have been an organization since 1967 when they were founded by the ABA. Today, I'm going to be going over the past, present, and future of the Indiana Pacers. If you would like to see videos like this in the future, please comment them down in below. I would like to take your suggestions. Now, let's get on to the video. As I said in the intro, the Pacers were founded in 1967 on February 2nd in the ABA Basketball League. They were considered a dynasty in that league and won three championships in the 70s. In 1976, the Pacers were one of the few organizations that went into the NBA as an NBA team with the NBA-ABA merger. In the late 1980s, the Pacers finally struck gold and got a big hit on a draft pick. They drafted Reggie Miller in 1987 with the 11th pick. That very next year, the Pacers scored the second overall pick in the NBA draft, and they selected Rick Smith, which would be Reggie Miller's co-star throughout the, his entire career. Throughout the 80s, the Pacers were still very mediocre and didn't have a winning season throughout the rest of the 80s. Once the 90s hit, the Pacers started to take off. They started to pile up playoff series and playoff experience. They then, in 1994, got their first very solid season at 47 and 35. Throughout the 90s, the Pacers started to dominate. The problem was is that they were in an Eastern Division with Michael Jordan and the Bulls, but they were the first team to take Michael Jordan to seven games in the Eastern Conference. 1999 seemed like the Pacers' year. It was a lockout year, so the season was shortened, and they went 33-17. and 17. They battled the Knicks in the conference finals, which were an eighth seed. They sadly lost in six games, though, and but the next year, they were ready to go. In the year 2000, the Indiana Pacers went 56-26 and 26 and went through the Eastern Conference with ease. They finally went to the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. Sadly, they lost in five games to the Los Angeles Lakers with a prime Kobe and prime Shaq. There was upside to this, though. In the early 2000s, the young players on the Pacers started to blossom. Players like Ron Test and, Re and Jermaine O'Neal were blossoming into legit superstars. Reggie Miller was still a solid contributor and would help the Pacers for the next three years. 2004 seemed to be the Pacers' year. They had their best franchise record going 61-21 and with players like Ron Artest and Jermaine O'Neal leading the way. Sadly, in the 2004 playoffs, they lost in six games to the Detroit Pistons, who were right at their tail all season. 2005 seemed to be the Pacers' year. They were favorites in every single way. They signed small forward Steven Jackson in the offseason, and Ron Artest was blossoming into a defensive player of the year. Jermaine O'Neal was in his prime, and Reggie Miller was still contributing, but then disaster struck. Some of you may know what I'm going to talk about, some of you may not. What I'm going to talk about is the malice at the palace. Basically what happened is that Ben Wallace was fouled hard by Ron Artest. This caused center Ben Wallace to shove and push Ron Artest, but Ron Artest was keeping his cool and was sat on the scoring table. Then a cup of beer splashed onto him on the scorer's table and he went ravage. He punched a bunch of fans in the stands and Jermaine O'Neal also tried to punch some people. They both got suspended for almost the rest of the season and the Pacers sadly barely made it into the playoffs. After that season, Reggie Miller retired, Jermaine O'Neal was a shell of his former self, and Ron Artest was shipped off to the Kings. It didn't take long before they got another superstar in the draft. Danny Granger was drafted to the Pacers in the 2005 draft and became a superstar around the 2009 season. In 2008, they drafted center Roy Hibbert, from the in the NBA draft and in 2010 with the 10th pick they drafted small forward Paul George this young and upcoming team would soon dominate the east but first I need to talk about one of the worst trades in NBA history on 2011 draft night the the Pacers had the 15th pick with that pick they drafted small forward Kawhi Leonard out of San Diego State then, on draft night, they traded him to the San Antonio Spurs for George Hill. 
Kawhi Leonard would later become a superstar and win two finals MVPs with the Spurs and the Raptors. In the 2010s, the Pacers dominated, going to two conference finals but losing to the Heat in both of those series. Sadly, in 2015, everything fell apart. Roy Hibbert fell off and was traded to the Lakers. David West signed with the Spurs in free agency, and it was never the same. Over the next couple of years, the Pacers barely made the playoffs and were looking fairly mediocre. In 2017, Paul George asked for a trade out of Indiana. The Pacers traded him to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabonis. At the time, this was one of the worst trades in NBA history, being that there was a superstar for two very mediocre players. But Victor Oladipo and DeMontis Sabonis would prove these thoughts wrong. The first year that Victor Oladipo laid foot on the court, he put up great stats and got the most improved player award and was an all-star. The Pacers would lose in the playoffs the next two years, but the future was bright. DeMontis Sabonis was blossoming and Victor Oladipo was putting up all-star seasons. Today, the Pacers are doing great and with star Malcolm Brogdon also leading the way. DeMontis Sabonis made his first All-Star game with co-star Malcolm Brogdon, and Victor Oladipo has returned great from injury. Sadly, the league has been suspended or canceled uh, for the further notice. The future of the Pacers is looking very bright, with stars Victor Oladipo, Malcolm Brogdon, and Sabonis all being very young. Overall, the Pacers have been a fairly good organization in the NBA. They have had some ups and downs, but in the end, they're still one of of the best franchises the NBA has seen. Some players that I forgot to mention are Mark Jackson, Chuck Person, Lance Stevenson, Miles Turner, George McGinnis, Jeff Foster, Antonio Davis, Jalen Rose, David West, and Chris Mullen. All of these players helped the Pacers organization a lot and contributed a lot. Thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below and make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.